Welcome, my name is Alex Louie. What I'm going to show you today is how to rename your Visual Studio project. And the example that I'm going to use is a Web API project. So what I want to do is I want to rename my mortgage pay project into a new solution, a new all new project. And I want to use pre use pre-existing functionality that I have used in here. So that would be my reasoning to just create a new project on top of this. Although the tutorials do a good job on Google to show you how to do it, uh, it could be very painful, painful if you do a troubleshoot, especially if you have multiple projects as I do. That's why I'm doing this tutorial because I, I do have multiple projects. I layer my projects up just like so, so that I have a layered approach with interfaces. So the first thing is we're going to go into our project here and we're going to open it up so that Visual Studio pops open. So let's do that. And I'm running Visual Studio Professional 2015. And there we go. The first painful thing that you have to do is actually rename every project that you have. So let's rename this to, I'll just call it new project. You can do whatever you want. And you have to be consistent. So I will rename to this to new project API. And all my other projects will also be re renamed to new project API. Take a little bit. So as you see, I'm renaming every individual project in my application to the actual name of what I'm going to be using. And although it looks as easy as it is, there's a couple of more steps that you do have to follow. So let's do that. Do common. And all I'm doing is just copying and pasting the name. here and last but not least we want to rename our solution to new project API take that out okay so now we've renamed everything to our new name which is in my case is new project API the f other thing you want to do is if you notice on your controllers the namespaces are going to still have the actual name of your namespaces so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and do a global find and replace now it may be different for some of you guys uh, I'm more of a risk taker and because I'm very good with my naming conventions I know that this isn't going to break anything so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this and do a find and replace. So if I go into quick replace and I do that. And now I'm going to name mortgage pay API to my new project API. And if I pull the trigger, should I pull the trigger? What do you say? Yes, I'm going to pull the trigger. I'm going to look go and be adventurous, pull the trigger. Uh, and do that. But that only does it for the current document. So what you want to do is you want to say entire solution and do replace all. It's going to ask you this. I usually just say yes uh, and it'll do all of them. You just have to wait. Okay, as you see, it's 106 occurrences replaced. So we click OK. So as you notice, now my namespaces look pretty good. Uh, the other thing that I do want to do is because I had, so if you take a look at, let's look at state zip repository. I, st I do have a namespace which is just mortgage pay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a, again, a full find and replace. So I will go to uh, find and replace. And I'll do a quick replace and I will say mortgage pay okay and I'm gonna replace that again with new project API to replace all my namespaces and 
import. So I will do that. I'll do this time. I'll do entire solution. I'll say replace all. So yes, you're gonna say yes. It's gonna do everything. It's gonna say 122 occurrences replaced. You click OK. Okay. At this point, you're still not done yet. What we want to do is we want to go into the properties of the project, and we want to rename this. So let's go down here into properties uh, and rename the assembly and default namespace to our new project API, which is that. Oops. New project API. New project API. Okay. So we'll rename our assembly name and default namespace, and we will save this. Oops. Save this. Save all. It's asked me to save because I had everything open, so I'm just going to leave this, close all but this, and we're good to go. Now, if you notice, if I go back to the actual file explorer, I still have these named as my old folder name, and we're going to have to do that manually. But at least we took care of the solution stuff within here. Uh, what I usually do again is I close the solution. So I'm going to close the solution. And I'm going to get to renaming here. Uh, I would say that. Oops. New project API. Take that. And I do it one by one. New project API. New project API. And although it is painful, you keep got to keep in mind that I do have a lot of layers. So if you have fewer layers than me, it shouldn't be as hard for you to do this. The only reason I'm showing this is because this is the most extreme case because I do have multiple projects in my solutions most of the time. Okay. So now I have new project API all around, all along the line, but there's still another type of renaming that I do have to do which is actually name rename the actual solution file references within my solution file and my project files within here. So if I try and open this, uh, it's going to say, do you want to know? I don't want to ask. Get it from source control. And you'll see that a lot of the projects are unavailable, even though I did all the renaming, right? That's because the project files themselves don't have the references updated within them. So what we're going to do is we're going to close this and we're going to go actually into the solution file. And I use TextPad. And you see here how the references are still not changed. So what the easiest thing to do is copy this, do a search, find and replace. So replace that with new project API. And what this will do is it'll replace all the references within here. So let me do replace all. And I'm also going to take mortgage pay, take copy that. And we're going to replace all also here. And we should be good now for the solution file. Okay. So I can save that. Everything seems to be fine. But because I renamed the references I also have to rename them at the individual project level within my solution and again this is painful because I have multiple layers in my project but if you don't have that many layers in your project then you don't really have to go through this whole thing that I'm doing it should be easier for you because if you do have like two or three projects then it'd be a lot easier now I'm gonna close this and if I go into each individual project file, so let's go over here and let's do TextPad. You're going to see that, let's try to do a search. It still has a mortgage pay uh, references here. So what I'm going to do is I will replace all these with new project API. So I'll do that then close and I will save this okay so I have to do this for each individual project file so if I go back 
I did that one. Now I go into the CS project, CS project file. I open that up. Go search, replace, mortgage pay, replace all. And then save, close. And go back, go back into my common layer. Open up the CS project. Replace, replace all. Then close. And I, I, like I said, my projects are different because I do have a number of layers within my project. And then I can say replace all. And I want to show you this because I don't want you to think that I'm skipping any steps. So if I do a text pad here, I will do replace, replace all, save. this place all we have two more to go I'm not gonna do the test one because that we can do that actually I'll, I'll do it don't doesn't really matter to replace all my eye down Save and if we go into the tests, search, replace, replace all, and we should be fine now. So now, oops, did I do something wrong here? Uh, I hope I did not change anything, but now, as I changed all my references, and now once I open up my solution, it should just magically work. So let's do that. Uh, I don't want to get them from source control. And there you go. Now they do show up in our project. Uh, it seems that testing is not available, but that's okay. We don't really we don't really want testing at all right now. But um, it's probably something. Oh, I know why. We can actually go look here. If I do. Yes, take this out. It was because it was referencing the uh, API twice. Um, and that should actually fix it, but let's do a real quick search. New project. And then here's the other one. So I, I mistakenly hit replace twice. Now let's do a search for mortgage pay. And we should be fine. So now we save that. And if we open up the solution, no. And now we see that everything is intact. This testing is still not working. Let's go take a look at why. So, new project API test is not available. Let's go back to tests. Is there something with this? It might be something that I did hit. Um, let's try and do a search again. New project. API, 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 API. If we look at the controllers here,
that's probably why because we didn't rename this new project API new project API now this should work And there you have it. Uh, I didn't rename the actual project file, so that's why it wasn't working. So now if I compile this, it's going to compile everything into new project API, uh, and we should be fine with that. So there it is, succeeded, build, 9 succeeded. And that's it. That's easy as that. And now you can start adding or removing anything that you do want within your projects in your source control. Thanks for the video. I do apologize for the minor delay about new project API, the testing project. Uh, but the problem was that I did not rename the actual file within my folder. So I, ha I still had this as mortgage pay API and I didn't have it as new project API. So that's why I couldn't reference it because all the solution file would reference it by name. Uh, and when they didn't find it, it said I can't load this file. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope you did this. This this did help you. So uh, hopefully I'll see you in later videos. Thanks.